Hey, how's everybody? How's everybody doing? Um, hope everybody's doing fine. Been trying to release this video for the past couple of days. This is kind of a rehash video for um, a video I made. One of my first videos was a video response to a double tap carry. So I mean, double tap shooting. Uh, Mac over double tap shooting. He's a YouTube channel. Uh, go check him out. Double tap shooting. Um, and also he makes Kydex holsters and has a, uh, actual giveaway, a giveaway going on at the time moment. And I made a video and I felt very bad after I made it, you know, like I didn't include enough information and didn't really give enough information on why I carry what I carry. Um, a lot of people want to know what they carry and what you carry is, uh, is, is, hard to decide and you need to make that decision yourself somebody can't tell you what to carry because they don't know what you your personal preference or your body type size there's a lot of stuff that goes in the fact but my case when it led to this i was working on armed security um and uh i decided i was tired of being unarmed uh i grew up in a uh, get to the point of background i grew up in a hunting family uh shotguns rifles you know my grandfather carried a revolver probably about everywhere he went and an old 69 ford truck um so i knew about guns from an early age just never carried a uh, a pistol and felt you know working in a case of uh, security that it was something that uh I, I could have done, but didn't have the finance to do at the time, and I uh, decided, hey, I had the money, I was going to do it. Uh, my CEO, uh, or uh, chief, or CEO of the company, or whatever you want to call him, he was the owner of the company, he uh, also worked for the company, he had a uh, Glock, and said, go Glock, it's perfect. Well, one of the lieutenants, he also had a uh, Springfield XD, and the other... Um, Lieutenant, he had a uh, Smith and Wesson uh, MMP and nine millimeter, um, and I decided, hey, I'm gonna try go to my local range where I would take my class, add my arms endorsement to my security, my private security registration, and I tried out the full sizes and and had no trouble. And some of them had, you know, they each got, you know, I kind of went through Springfield XD and, you know, I picked three choices, the XD, the Glock, and the M&P. Uh, the XD, uh, had a little more muzzle flip because of a thicker slide, um, and felt like I couldn't get back down on, uh, subsequent shots because of it, so I kind of ruled that one out. m &P had great feel to it, um. Uh, the only thing that I had against the MNP was, uh, that, check the firearm, it is clear, physically, and there's nothing in the chamber. So, I'm like this, my dog is behind me, but it's a safe direction. Um, so, what was, uh, with the MNP that I had, probably about the only issue I had with the MNP was reset on the trigger to shoot shots second shot subsequent shots when you pull the trigger if you don't know about reset you get to this point after you've went through all the following shot breaks re-pull the quarters then you release and it clicks then you can break the next shot all right now that we've got that out the way uh, then i realized something that one of my other instructors had stated uh he was he was saying that um you might as well get your concealed, which brought up a reason. I said, "Hey, I want to, you know, I, I could conceal carry also, but uh, I didn't want to have to, you know, have a full size, and I didn't financially wasn't able to have, you know, to buy two firearms. And I was looking at Glock and the fact that it had a uh, this compact version series of pistols like the 1923 that were." Uh, big enough to be considered a sidearm but also easier to conceal you can conceal a 17 not saying you can't but uh just saying that you know so i seen the 19 in the case at the gun shop at the gun range and i wanted to you know try it out and i 
picked it up and I started shooting it and it became one of my favorite handguns and I'd seen reviews on YouTube and stuff like that and you know um, that 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 was also part of it but you know I picked it up and started shooting it but that wasn't the reason you know I was looking for full size but when I realized that I wanted to do both this kind of fell into that category so uh, after that it was kind of you know a no bringer after that I I qualified with it and, uh, for my arm did great uh, and that applied for my concealed carry and I've had it ever since um, but um, what I found that I enjoyed about it was that the, the great track record the uh, simplicity of it that I've, I've, I've shot numerous rounds through it no failure to feeds no failure to ejects no issues whatsoever um, there are pros and cons to every system. I don't like the factory block sights. Um, as you can tell, not unloaded it again, but as you can tell, I put some night sights, some trigicon, put these up here, dogs back there, some trigicon night sights, um, on it. And, um, I did that, and I did a little bit of a stippling job, which I have a video out about that, it's probably, you'll see that related to it, uh, which I just recently did because I'm no longer carrying this in a armed outside, you know, armed guard position. I'm carrying this mainly as my concealed carry now, and that's how I led into carrying the Glock 19 as my concealed carry and so I did a stipple job which uh, and like I stated in another video some people use skateboard tape some people use talon grips I know this gun is never going anywhere I'm not getting rid of it it'll be with me and passed along with somebody else um, one of my kids or something along the line um, so I did a uh, some little minor stipple job to it which increases the grip kind of uh, if you've ever heard of the rough texture green uh, blocks it kind of you know, it just gives you some index points and just did a couple little you know little little fine stuff so you don't have to adjust your grip and just gives you a better purchase on the firearm you know and helps you mitigate the you know, recoil a little bit um and that's just personal preference I'm not telling anybody to go do it that's up to you, and I don't recommend anybody do anything that they don't think they would want to do. This is personal preference of what I did with that. Other people, and that's another thing, custom, customization of the Glock is one of the other reasons a lot of people like to get the Glock, because you can, there are a lot of aftermarket parts and considerations for this uh, you can do. Um, you can change sights, you can put extended levers and extended mag buttons, and you can go way further than that, you know, stainless guide rods and and multiple uh, stuff that you, know, you can do. Uh, I just did a couple minor adjustments. Some people lighten the trigger. I put the minus connector in it. Didn't like it. I actually installed a, uh, a New York One trigger spring in it, which if you're f familiar with the M&P series of pistols, is similar to the Apex trigger kit, but this is a $2 part, which I put in myself, and if you want to look that up, you can look out New York 1 trigger job. It's basically a minus trigger trigger connector with a 8-pound uh, spring, and it, it I think it came about, don't quote me on it if I'm wrong, you can let me know. Uh, it came about because there were no external safeties on the Glocks when they came out. And so, and some people had some issues with it having a five come standard with a 5.5 pound trigger pull. Uh, some people in, uh, I believe New York, I guess, is the reason they got the name, was they installed these heavier 8 pound trigger springs in it, which added to the 5.5 uh, already stocked trigger, which made it, you know, around a 13 pound trigger pull, which was similar to the revolvers. And, uh, and as I said, my grandfather carried a revolver, so double action wasn't a big deal to me. Which this actually increases the trigger pull, but makes it very consistent. And uh, a little more pressure, a little heavier. Um, and that's also personal preference. Uh, 
You can look that up yourself. I'm just basically stating what I've done. Besides the simple job, the night sights, and doing that, that's basically all I've done to it. Everything else is what was on it. And there's a grip plug in the bottom of it. That, um, and that's about it. Um, and I just recently did the simple job here recently. Um, was standard all the way up to then if you watched any of my other videos. Um, and then let me just do a quick demonstration of the trigger. The only thing different is the trigger is a tight bit tighter and you're going to get to this wall and it's very heavy pressure and when it cycles you get a lot of push a very audible click and you can break the next shot and it's very consistent and it just works for me and and it's great like I said um basically I kinda fell into concealed carrying um I fell into it I kinda just ran across it and it became you know something that I carry with me every day and uh, make sure that it goes with me everywhere I go uh, um, this is why I carry the Glock 19 um, and I trust my life with it um, and, and I wouldn't have chose it if otherwise I didn't think I could trust my life with it and I think that's one of the main reasons of having a carry gun is you ought to trust your life to whatever you're carrying and make sure that you do your research I did plenty of that um, so uh, I hope that explains a lot and uh, check out Mac over at Double Tap Carry uh, uh, Double Tap Shooting YouTube channel he has a website called Double Tap Carry Systems that's where he sells his holsters um, seems like a great guy I'm gonna put him in the video description um, just wanted to let everybody know this is why I carry a Glock 19 um, works for me might not work for you but I hope this explains a little more better. That's the way. I'll see you.